What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Dr. D-Dub here, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Roller Coaster Tycoon. Uh, to start things off, I would like to let you know that if this episode seems slightly less prepared than other episodes, it's because it is. Um, I literally got back from work, uh, let me check the time, about 10 minutes ago. Um, I changed clothes, I sat down, and I started recording. Uh, usually I like to go through my park, like I always say, and spend a little time, you know, seeing what I can do, what I want to do, etc. Uh, and this time, I didn't do that, or I didn't get the chance to do that, per se. Uh, the reason being, uh, is I have about two hours from the time I'm starting this episode to the time I have to leave to go back to work. Uh, originally today, I was scheduled to... I worked at, um, what am I saying? I started work at 7 a.m. this morning, and I just got off around 1.30, got home around 2 uh, a.m. to p.m. there. And uh, I... One of my coworkers, I hope she gets better soon, but she is sick and hurt her leg or something. I don't know quite all the details. Uh, but all I do know is that we're having to cover her shifts. And so now, in addition to working from... 7 a.m. onwards. I'm also now working till 2 a.m. as well. Uh, so today is a... Uh, let me do some math. I started at 7 a.m. I'm going till 2 a.m. Uh, a 19-hour day, and I get a three-hour break in between, I think. That sounds about right. Um, so it's, it's a long day. <laughs> And then I get about two hours of sleep after I'm done at 2 a.m. tonight before I have to go back to work in the morning for another shift. So, uh, I don't have any time to waste, and I just needed to sit down and start recording because despite all of that, I, you know, I've made it 70, what would this be, 75 days in a row without missing an episode, and I am not missing an episode. That is not happening. Uh, I originally debated just releasing some sort of, like, five minute episode just to say I did it and be done uh, but no I'm actually gonna take my laptop with me to work uh, to edit to finish everything I need if I don't get it done uh, in this two hour break I've got or two hour window three hour break um, but I, I'm gonna stick with it I refuse to skip an episode or to skip a day where I upload an episode so oh okay um, so yeah, I don't have anything planned for this episode. I know last time, I believe I mentioned I wanted to add uh, another steel coaster. Uh, and I'm going to do that, I believe. Uh, another shuttle loop type design. I just wanted to expand these walkways out. So far, they're all straight lines. I might go back and change some of that. I just kind of did that just to just to do it. Um, and I can't see where I've placed trash cans now. <laughs> they blend in That's so well. I don't think I've placed anything on this path yet, actually. Um, so let's do some of that. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have. I'm getting forgetful, it looks like. Uh, but okay, so let's check on our rides. No one is riding this, but I think that's because it just stopped raining. Yeah, it looks like it is. That's the case for probably most of our rides. Yeah, so everyone's just now starting to get back on things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh, man, it's a long day. I actually stopped by, uh, a convenience store on my way home and, uh, bought some Red Bull. <laughs> I don't think I've drank, in, drank Red Bull since I was in college, having to like stay up all night to study for tests and stuff. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the kind of night I'm preparing for. Um, but let's go ahead and add this to... We don't really have the room to do it in... Actually, yeah, we do. We can do it right down this lane right here. I was about to say, we don't have the room to really do uh, this sort of shuttle loop. But I stand mistaken. We do. Uh, so let's get rid of that tree and this tree. That should be all we have to get rid of. Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five. We'll actually do five on this one instead of six. Just to change it. And again, it looks like it's defaulting to green. So that fits in nicely in the green quadrant. I almost said quadrant, which is not a thing. Um, let's actually do... No, we don't have the... No, we're going to make this different. We're going to buy a little bit of land here um, just to do a reverse incline because I think that'd be cool. We haven't done one of those yet. That also allows us to modify this bit of land, which I think is going to be necessary, uh, as well as deleting all those trees. Uh, and so, nope. 
I'm doing all the wrong things, including closing out of that menu. Uh, okay, so let's get that going. That's going to have to lower even more. Even if I do that, even if I do that. All right, so that'll go down there. I will fix this eventually. It looks all kind of cut off because that's where the park border ended. And I don't believe the game really cares about how things look at the park border. At least it never seems like it. Um, even though they clearly intend for you to buy all this land, they wouldn't put this much here or give you this small of a park if that wasn't their intent. But that is actually pretty tall. Um, yeah, that's very tall. <laughs> okay, so what can we do here to make this different? Um, we'll start... What if we do three loops? Is that going to be too much? Let's find out. So we'll do one loop to the right. Another loop to the left. And another loop back to the right. I hope this will fit. It might not. Loop right. No, it won't. Um, if I move the drink stall, actually, either way, it's going to end me right there. Yeah, drink stall in the way. If I end right here, that's this piece right here, and then I would need one, two, probably three pieces in front of it to clear it. So that's not going to work. Um, can we just go up here and clear the drink stall? We can. Okay. Hmm. I'm trying to think what I can do to make this different. Okay, so we started at 27. Let's just go back up this way. That'll be different. So that's to 28. Uh, that should be plenty. Or I say plenty. It should be enough. Probably not drastically more than we need. But my goodness, does it rain a lot in this park tree in the way. I think that's this one. Okay, there we go. And there we go. Sweet. Okay, so let's test uh, Roller Coaster 1 real quick. I know last episode I said that I don't like testing rides until I paint and name them. Uh, that goes for more of my complete circuit rides. I feel like I've built enough shuttle loops that it doesn't really matter that much. You guys kind of know what to expect. Uh, it's not anything brand new. Yes, it is different, and I will make sure everyone is unique in some way. Uh, but as far as, you know, the suspense, like, oh my gosh, I can't wait till he tests this thing. I don't think that's really there. You might think there is that suspense, uh, but I don't think there is for you guys, so hopefully I'm right. Uh, let's hope this doesn't crash. I'm going to be watching this like a hawk this time, so we don't crash and then win an award for having the safest park ever. This looks like it's coming in, coming in hot. Oh, we're good. We're golden. Okay, that should be fine. And we don't have to adjust speed, so that's nice. That's one nice thing about reverse incline launch mode. That you kind of know what to expect. You don't have to play around with increasing and decreasing uh, the mileage per hour that it launches at. Because it already starts fantastic. Um, now that I'm looking at it, I don't know if I'm going to stick with the same exact green everywhere. If I do that, this park's going to get very, or at least this quadrant of this park, it's going to be, I want it to all be green, but I don't want it to look exactly the same. Um, and I thought I made this, I did make this white to begin with, but then I changed, okay, I changed it to make the, uh, the tents look better, or the canvas style, canvas tent style. There we go. Uh, so for this, let's, I kind of like that color green. Um, what if we do that green on the side? And then let's try, that's a lot of green, but I kind of like it. Our goal again is to have a lot of green in this park. Um, let's try a different green i think i like that a little bit better given it is raining right now so it is kind of hard to tell uh darkens everything quite a bit so our colors are going to look a little bit different when we get this done uh but i think that looks this nice. looks what was that <laughs> i think this looks nice i think that was a combination of good and nice uh it didn't really come out so great though 
Uh, let's do that. Is that fine? What are our stats on this thing? 556. So 550. I think that's pretty close to our other one, actually. Uh, what are we charging for this? No one's on it because it's raining. 538. So this is actually better. Um, let me check my list of names here, see if I have anything. Um, nothing good. <laughs> so again, we're gonna... I don't know. We're gonna come up with something. So let's get our green footpath going off of our green ride and connect it up to our green footpath. I think I called this green footpath just now. Green Q. Uh, we'll actually run this kind of down a bit. That looks nice. We'll probably have to back it off one and then flatten it. Perfect. Um, and I don't... I think we can expand in this direction slightly because this feels kind of cramped. Um, and then I know I mentioned I'm going to expand the green quadrant out probably in this direction some. Like up up in this general area. Because the blue quadrant's probably going to end right here. What we have currently. I think I mentioned that last episode as well. Uh, but let's, let's stop testing this. Let's open it. Uh, let's get that exit connected. Yeah, that was very quick to tell me I screwed up. <laughs> I know, game. Thank you. Uh, and let's hire another mechanic for over here because front has a lot going on for him. Uh, probably not too much, but he's got enough. Uh, and mechanic 2 will name Shuttle Loop 2 because it's the second one we built. Perfect. Shuttle loop 2. And then front is ex inspecting mean green fighting machine. And we definitely need to hire some handyman to cover all these walkways we just added. Otherwise, they're going to get funky quick. This area already has. Um, okay, so that's connected up. We've got a mechanic. We need a name. Let's name this um, the, the loopy green giant I don't know again zero planning went into this episode but I hope it still comes out okay uh, loopy green giant is good I think I've done everything I set the price that's nice wonderful painted everything this is all good and we're set we're set to go okay I need to get some handymen on the job here I'll probably do one for each stretch I just added. I think that should cover it. Nope. Don't do that. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four sections. That's perfect. I think four is probably the max area I should have any handyman cover. Um, unless it's just a completely... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Completely under... I don't know, a low foot traffic area? I think that covers everything. Did I miss one? I did. I missed two, actually. There we go. And that covers everything. It's just one before our exit there. Or not exit, the edge of our park. Uh, and then I think we need one more handyman for the blue quarter section we added. And this is probably going to be a little bit more area. Uh, so we'll actually hire two for this. Because we are probably going to... We are probably going to put some rides off of this. And depending on how intense those rides are... Or I guess how nauseating those rides are. Um, they could have their work cut out for them. So let me make sure to get two on this path. Uh, just to alleviate any of that workload they might have. Okay, so that covers everything. Perfect. Um, what else? This part is gross. Someone's not doing their job too well. Okay, I think that's good. Our park is a little bit nicer and... Look at how green that area is getting. Like, it's it's nice. I like it. It very much screams, hey, look at me. I'm green. And those uh, canvas-style entrances, I think they look nice. They're different than these, and I don't like them quite as much, but they still add to the green of everything. So I'm not worried about it in the slightest. Uh, I do want to connect... I'll probably have like a central hub area somewhere, like right in the middle, uh, with maybe a lot of like white flowers or something. I'm not sure yet. Nor do I know where that's going to be because we don't have this area unlocked yet or purchased yet. It goes out pretty far. 
Um, so if I did like a central hub, maybe kind of like right here, um, and then expand the red and yellow districts or quarters uh, off on either side, I think that could work out nicely. Uh, but let's go ahead and build a couple smaller things. That's probably going to build be the only big thing we build this episode. Um, just because, again, I haven't really had the time to plan much out. And so I do apologize for that. Um, but let's go ahead and add a swinging ship to the blue quarter. Um, or blue quadrant. Whatever I keep calling. Quarter, quadrant, they're interchangeable. Uh, so this is, what, five tiles wide? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five tiles wide. Uh, let's do this. Hmm. I wanted to do this in the blue quadrant because it's a boat and it can be somewhat water related in that. Or sorry, it's a ship. I always make that error. It's a ship. Uh, let's do this right on the top here. That looks nice. And we'll do the entrance here, exit right next to it because I don't want to get rid of that support right there. And if I put the exit right here, I think it's going to do just that. So we'll do those right there. Uh, we will need to remove these two trees, but that is fine. And we'll get our blue path out and connect these up. That should be a straight shot. There we go. And then we're using this grayish blue for the exit. Perfect. Okay, and then let's also get another mechanic out in this area because, again, front has quite a bit going on. There we go. Mechanic three, he will be ship. Okay, that's it on staff. Swinging ship one. Again, we'll max... Man, it rains a lot in this part. It's rained, what, three, four times this episode? And we're only in October yet? All right, so we'll open that up. Again, no one's going to want to ride it because, you know, it's raining. And no one seems to like riding these things while it rains. Uh, we can charge 290, though. That's pretty good for a swinging ship. I am not going to complain. Okay, let's paint this up. Nice and blue lack. Um, let's try one of this, these lighter blues. That's kind of cool. Although it is the support, and I don't know if I want the supports to be blue. Ooh, I probably do because it has an effect on the canvas. But what if I did a blue and white? What if I did a blue and gray? That might be a little less harsh. There we go. That's a darker blue, which I kind of like. Uh, let's try that. That's nice looking. We're going to do that. And that seems like it only changes the color of uh, the tents themselves. I don't see it affecting the ride anywhere. The gray is the support. Uh, the green, I think, is part of the ship. It is. And then the gold trim on the side. Let's do white on that. I think that'll look nice. I think I'm correct. I think that looks fantastic. <laughs> All right, so that is our Swinging Ship 1, uh, which we need to name. And I'd like to name it. Again, do I have anything? No, I don't. <laughs> so it looks like I need to come up with some more names ahead of next episode, which I think I'll have time to do. Yeah, I'll have time to do. I'm going to take the hardest nap that there ever was tomorrow when I get home from work. Um, but after that, I should be able to brainstorm some names and then make an episode for you guys. Okay, so Swinging Ship 1 is now going to be... I want to name it something about the sea. Um, blue Sea. Sea? <laughs> I like it. I'm kind of delirious right now. And I still have a long way to go. Uh, okay, Blue Sea. See? I like it. Let's do it. Blue Sea Sea is now open. Well, something just broke down. Please don't be. I hear music. Is that coming from this? Because the music just died on this. I think this is about to break down. I think the music goes way before it actually breaks down. I can hear something and it sounds awful. You guys hear that? Ugh. That better break down soon. <laughs> and I want to make sure it's not the station breaks, because if it is, this thing's going flying out the back, killing everyone on the ride, as well as anyone standing right here. I'm pretty sure that they can explode onto other things, and 
kill those things or people. Which we obviously don't want. There we go. That took forever. Restraint stuck open. Okay. That's fine. If anything's going to go wrong, that is a good thing to have go wrong. Uh, okay, so let's add... What else did we get? We've got an observation tower, which I think could be lovely. Uh, let's actually do that kind of in this corner here. Uh, usually I like doing them very much kind of in the center. But we don't have a center of our park yet, and I'm not waiting that long. So, uh, tree in the way. Tree in the way. Is it this one? I think it's that one. That should allow us to do either of those. There we go. Okay, so this will go up not quite to max, but pretty high because we need our guests to be able to see over this hill. Uh, actually, yeah, we're going to max. This thing just keeps going up. So we'll make this keep going up as well. Okay, we'll do the entrance on the side and then the exit connecting back out to the main path here. Uh, yeah, that'll look good. And then that black and red actually looks really cool. And it has me kind of excited for adding our red district in because that's probably what we'll kind of be looking like on some rides. Uh, so let's add the green footpath. Um, and if I make this go out to and back, should be able to connect this up right here and that will easily hold 20 people. Uh, which I believe I mentioned I like doing, having enough line to hold the maximum capacity of the ride at a minimum. Uh, okay, so main color scheme, we'll actually... Yeah, we can't adjust any of that, so we'll test it. As soon as it open closes, we will open it. We will not close it, unlike those doors just did, open and closing. Uh, okay, so paint job, this is green, and I do have a name for this one, so we're on point there. Let's do that lime green. I think that looks really nice. And let's do white. Uh, or actually, yeah, that looks nice. Doing it the other way around would make white the prominent color with green as the accent color. Uh, and I like green being the predominant color, obviously, because we are in the green quarter. Uh, and the base here, how bad does that look? Not bad. We're gonna soften that up a little bit. That's better. That matches the uh, tents a little bit more, even though it is a different color, technically. Uh, and this is one that is a gentle ride that you actually don't get stats for immediately. Uh, I have a feeling this is going to be decently exciting. Why? I couldn't tell you, but I have a feeling it's going to be. So, let's see if I'm correct. I am! 350. Sweet. 340, 50. There we go. And then this is going to be called the Green Gaze. If you haven't caught on yet, every ride is probably going to have the name or the, the color of the zone it's located in as part of its name. There we go. Okay, and then I believe our mechanic is already covering this. Yeah, he is. That's perfect. Shuttle Loop 2. All right, what else did I want to take care of? I don't think there's too much else I need to get done this episode. Maybe I do? Yeah, we're going to do one last thing. Uh, let's go ahead and do a boat hire in the water. I think that is a perfect spot for it. And we'll do... Okay, so I want the station to start... Not start, to end there. And so we'll go back and we'll add one, two... Three, four, I think four is, uh, yeah, I think four is fine. I don't think I've ever had a, ooh, actually, dang it. I need to add more in the back and have, hmm. I was thinking about doing the entrance and exit right here, but if I do that, I completely block off. Okay, so this is going to have to actually go the other way around, I think. We'll still start it from there. Two, three, four, five. Oh, this isn't working like I intended. We'll see if it works. So if we do the entrance there and the exit here, that only allows them to go this direction and not even... Mm. I don't know if I like this after all. There's really no better place to do it, I don't think. 
Actually, I stand corrected. This is all going bye-bye. We're gonna do it over here. Uh, I think this will work much nicer and it will allow them to cross barely into the green quadrant. Um, but I think that'll be okay. The main entrance and whatnot will still be off of um, the blue quadrant. So I think we'll be okay there. So let's end it right there. And we'll do the, both the entrance and the exit on this side now. Uh, and the exit, I don't want any rides exiting back out onto the main path. I want them exiting in their own quadrant. Uh, so we're going to... Nope, select that. There we go. Uh, okay, so this is going to have to go up immediately. Same with the exit. And if I flatten out the exit, it's going to be on this side of this walkway. So I need it to go on this tile. So that means this needs to go right there. We have room for the exit. And then I think that'll line up. There we go. And let's go ahead and get the exit going as well. Again, we need to go up immediately uh, for the sake of... What am I doing? Oh, I hit Demolish instead. Oops, now what am I meant to do? I don't know what I was just saying. No idea. <laughs> but that should be done. Boat hire one. Six boats is plenty. Ooh, what are, what are our options here? Let's do... Hmm. Let's do water tricycles. I think those could look cool in blue. Uh, and so we'll do a dark blue station with a... Actually, that doesn't affect anything. So actually, yeah, it's on the water. It's lighter. I think that looks nice. Um, I know I said earlier I liked this better than this because it matched the color difference of our green. Uh, doesn't look like we have a handyman right there. We'll go fix that in a second. Um, Okay, boat hire one. What is this the color of? On the water. Okay, so we'll do that lighter color as well, just to just to mix it up a little bit. And then on this, we will have a light blue and a white. I think that looks nice. Okay, boat hire one is now open for business. I didn't think people would like riding this uh, in the rain, but apparently they don't care. We are going to charge a little bit more than a dollar to start. Let's try two dollars. Uh, that might need to be adjusted, which it will, uh, in a positive direction, actually. I was thinking I might need to lower that. Uh, but boat hire one. Um, let's name this... Blue... Oh, that already doesn't look so great. <laughs> See them having so many issues. This guy's stuck in the station. He can't even get out because this guy's blocking him in. We might add a little bit more water here to make this not so narrow. That's got to happen. <clears throat> Excuse me. That's got to happen. Um, Blue floaty. <laughs> blue floaty. I like it. Okay, so this isn't going to look super grand. Um, that actually was easier to see from this angle. Uh, so let's go ahead and expand this out a little bit. So actually, if I lower this one, since it's already at an angle, it will lower all of that. Same with this one. And we'll do this one. No, I won't do that one. At least not yet. And now I will. And then I'll also do that one. Then we'll flatten all this out. I think that's decent. I can't really see underwater anymore, or at least what I'm doing, despite already having underwater view. Uh, and then we need to fill in the land we just uglified uh, with some water. So let's do just that. That should help a little bit. It's not a drastic change, but this guy just needs to get out. Like, move, dude. And that guy just glitched through the side. <laughs> Whatever works. Okay, I could see this having issues, but, you know, it, it's whatever. Um, we're actually going to assign front to this, because, you know, 
Why not? And I actually can't tell if I'm selecting or deselecting that. Selecting. There we go. And I'll have that as well. He should be able to get to all that now. That's a lot of work for one man. What happened here this time? Safety cut out. Not again, but... Okay, where's our handyman for over here? This is ugly. He's handyman one, right? He is, and he's missing one tile. There we go. Okay. I think that's going to do it for this episode. That's really all I have time for. So, I got to get editing this, and then I head back to work. And I might even have to finish the edit at work. So, that's a thing. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Sorry for the uh, frantic kind of unpreparedness of this episode. I'll try to do a little bit better next time around. Uh, but I hope you have enjoyed nonetheless. I'll see you guys in the next episode. And until then, as always, take care.